Ish, written and illustrated by Peter H. Reynolds. Raymond loved to draw. Anytime, anything, anywhere. One day, Raymond was drawing a vase of flowers. His brother, Leon, leaned over his shoulder. Leon burst out laughing. <laughs> what is that? he asked. Raymond could not even answer. He just crumpled up the drawing and threw it across the room. Leon's laughter haunted Raymond. He kept trying to make his drawings look right, but they never did. After many months and many crumpled sheets of paper, Raymond put his pencil down. I'm done. Marisol's sister was watching him. What do you want? He snapped. I was watching you draw, she said. Raymond sneered. I'm not drawing. Go away. Marisol ran away, but not before picking up a crumpled sheet of paper. Hey, come back here with that. Raymond raced after Marisol up the hall and into her room. He was about to yell, but fell silent when he saw his sister's wall. He stared at the crumpled gallery. This one is my fa one of my favorites, Maris Marisol said, pointing. That was supposed to be a vase of flowers, Raymond said, but it doesn't look like one. Well, it looks vaseish to me, she exclaimed. Vaseish? Raymond looked closer. Then he studied all the drawings on Marisol's walls and began to see them in a whole new way. They do look ish, he said. Raymond felt light and energized, thinking ishly aloud, his ideas to flow freely. He began to draw what he felt, loose lines, quickly springing out without worry. Raymond once again drew and drew the world around him, making an ish drawing felt wonderful. He filled his drawings, tree-ish, house-ish, boat-ish, afternoon-ish, fish-ish, sun-ish. Raymond realized he could draw ish feelings too. Peace-ish, silly-ish, excited-ish. His ish art inspired ish writing. He wasn't sure if he was writing poems, but he knew they were poemish. Ponder, pond, ponder, dream yonder, pond, pond, yond, yond, gleam, wander, Raymond. One spring morning, Raymond had a wonderful feeling. It was a feeling that even ish words and ish drawings could not capture. He decided not to capture it. Instead, he simply savored it. And Raymond lived ishfully ever after. <laughs>